there is a surveillance video in some kindergarten or something where this fat old teacher ended up shoving over a four-year-old with her knee. Here is a video of the video recorded from my TV screen. I can totally relate to what this woman did. This is no different than throwing your fucking PS4 controller against the floor because of the bullshit in Call of Duty. There is no way every single human being in this world hasn't done something like this where they've come up against an annoyance and they've done something like this. This kid was an annoyance. Managing mentally disabled kids for 20 years must get on your fucking nerves. And it may not even be just that. Being born with a bipolar disorder. Not getting enough sleep that night. Having a mild form of encephalitis from the flu. All these things can put you in an intolerant mood. During my childhood I had been treated by adults in similar ways on multiple occasions. Now I matured and I came to understand why. I myself started exhibiting these rage impulses to break things, break things, since I was 12. What pisses me off is that in the 1980s, um, well, what pisses me off is that in the 1980s, before surveillance cameras, this lady could have easily talked her way out of it. And I mean, I mean that as a good thing, that she would have been able to talk her way out of it. So what I mean to say is what pisses me off is that in the present day, because of surveillance cameras, is why she is the, is why she can't talk her way out of it and that's what pisses me off so in the 1980s before surveillance cameras which is a good thing she could have claimed to be coming around the around the door zoning out and just not seeing the kid standing there and that she ran into him by accident and that's a, it's a mistake it was a mistake witnesses if there were any aren't that reliable, and it's very easy to twist someone's memory with persuasion. See, the 1980s was a world of greater opportunity and multiple second chances. Instead of appreciating that, people threw it all away for the petty, petty gratification of exposing people or help, helping bust people for the state, for the sake of the state. I always wondered how in places like Soviet Union neighbors were so quick to report something others said or did that was unfavorable to the state. Why would you want to empower a draconian state and turn against your neighbors? Now I understand. It's the same mindset that makes it's the same mindset that makes people put up security cameras or flag YouTube videos or record someone with a cell phone so it can be turned turned over to the police used to be used to be people wanted to bury any unfortunate embarrassing incident and probably would forbid you from entering their home if you came in for a visit toting a VHS camera. Now you can't tell someone not to bring a camera because it's hidden in their fucking pocket and doubles as a cell phone. Uh, so how do you tell people not to bring that stuff into your house? Oh, but it's my phone. I have important calls to take. You can't deny me my phone. I have important calls. 
what should concern you even more that as a parent to that kid imagine yourself a parent to that kid i don't know if he's physically or mentally disabled let's say he's mentally disabled what does punishing this teacher with security video as evidence teach this kid a kid who is born with a bad brain maybe autistic or with a bipolar disorder maybe he'll have freak outs in life maybe he'll commit some criminal act because of it do something in the rage that's no different than what this teacher did to him so what do you tell this kid here is what you should tell this kid i am sorry you were born four years prior to the present year in which you're watching this this commentary i'm sorry you were born I'm sorry you were born into a world where cameras are on every ceiling and in every pocket. I'm sorry that because you were born with a brain unfit to the perfection standards of society, the public will now use these landmines they call surveillance cameras to devastate your life for every slip up you make because of your bad brain. I know there was a wonderful time before the year 2004 when YouTube didn't exist when cell phones did not come equipped with 4k cameras or even didn't have cameras equipped in them at all when schools weren't covered by surveillance cameras so if you break something out of rage or kick somebody you had a much better chance of evading getting in trouble for it and you had a much better chance of talking your way out of it I am sorry you were born into this Orwellian society where cheap gadgets cheap gadgets are being used to enforce a form of social control that would have made the Nazis envious of imagine how many more people the Nazis could have killed if they could have hidden microphones in the walls of every building and stuck surveillance cameras on every light pole throughout Berlin. Imagine how much more effective the Nazis would have been if they had surveillance cameras to keep watch on the Jews in those concentration camps. Imagine how much more successful the Empire and Star Wars would have been if only they had cameras on the Death Star to observe Han Solo and whoever sneaking inside there. But see, the thing is saying these words of truth, these words of truth to your child is probably illegal as far as I know, or borderline illegal. Because if that kid listens to these words and behaves according these words and gets in trouble and says well this is what daddy told me then daddy is probably going to be in trouble so in this society you're not even allowed to raise your children by telling them the truth that I've just spoken because the truth doesn't benefit society instead there is a set of cliche propaganda that everyone encourages you to recite to your kid about personal responsibility and bullshit like that. That that doesn't permit you, it doesn't permit you to even point out better times in history. See, I'm talking about the same subject again and again, but this one has a totally different aspect to it as it touches touches on how much society forbids us from raising our kids in a way where we can tell the truth to them. The kid, I am sure, is against what the teacher did to him. But when he grows up and becomes a teenager, and he has to deal with the real world through his mental illness, he'll understand. I had adults do similar shit to me as a kid because I annoyed them. I annoyed them just by being a kid, but now I understand 
how they felt. I started breaking things in rage when I was 12. We didn't call this kind of stuff abuse. We called it discipline. And the kid was often explained through a rant that he is a bad kid, driving adults crazy by doing things like rudely standing in the doorway. When this kid grows up and starts working and dealing with the real world, he should perfectly understand why the teacher reacted like she did. This is why I don't get why people tolerate security cameras and cell phone cameras watching them everywhere. In schools, in schools they always throw propaganda at you about choices. In real life there are no choices. The most perfect, sane, rational people have a hard time finding jobs in this economy, even qualified people. That is, if you have the strength to work a job. Sometimes you might be forced to take on a job you don't particularly like, or a job you felt passionate about at the start that made you jaded after a, a while, like the job of a teacher or a police officer. You took what was available because it, you needed to survive. But because it's not ideal, it will make you angry, and sometimes you will have an impulse to lash out at small annoyances in life. Why would you want cameras recording that shit? So your life can be made more fucked up and more of a struggle because of surveillance camera evidence? You lose a job, end up in jail because of a camera? then what are your prospects? I would be inclined toward the victim more if the woman got caught the old-fashioned, antiquated way, like someone saw her, came to whoever is in charge of the school, and swore as a witness. I have zero compassion for any vi victim when the bad guy is identified through a camera. People People might say, well, when kids are treated fucked up this way, they'll grow up into fucked up adults. Well, if you know that's the case, and they're fucked up adults because of fucked up childhoods, why do you hang up fucking cameras everywhere to try and capture them? Shouldn't they get some kind of lenience? If you at least, like, if you at least don't know the camera is there, shouldn't you get some kind of lenience? Like you had a good faith reason to believe you had privacy?